This is Eugene Panrutkovich of the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Chromebook 11, second generation, with touchscreen, with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a touchscreen on a Dell Chromebook second generation 11 touchscreen. Okay, uh, before we get started, a couple uh, items I'd like to talk about. Uh, first is to identify the right model. Okay, this is a Dell Chromebook 11 second generation. There's a touch and a non-touch version of it available. Most of them are non-touch, so make sure this is the you're watching the right video. We have a separate video for the non-touch version. And the second thing is we want to make sure that the laptop is completely turned off because Chromebooks turn on and off when you open and close them. So make sure that the power button is not lit up and there's nothing displaying on the screen. And if it is on, you can either shut it down through software or a long press of the power button. Okay, um, the second thing is, next thing, <coughs> pardon me. Next thing is to look on the bottom and look at the model number. On the bottom, it's gonna say, P22T model number. It's not going to have anything else, but that's the model number. That's what you're looking for. Okay, once you open it again, in my case the laptop didn't turn on, <clears throat> but most cases the laptop will turn off. So, next thing is the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. A hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate things and to pry things. And a metal spudger to pry things open. So the first order of business is to remove this bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And it's secured by two screws at the top hiding behind some plastic covers. So we use our hobby knife to remove the plastic covers, being careful not to damage them, and I usually like to put them right beside the screw opening for safekeeping, and same with second one. Next is we use the screwdriver to remove the two screws. Uh, when you start the screw, make sure you press pretty hard on the screw to give it a good start so it doesn't strip. So we remove one screw, and what I do for each step for each set of screws is to put them in a small pile in the order in which they were removed and that helps me keep track which screws go where once, the, once we're putting the laptop back together. Okay, next step is to snap off the screen bezel. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky because of the way the screen is. It's flush with the bezel so it's hard to to reach in and get a good hold on the bezel. So what we do in this case is use our hobby knife to reach in. Just lift it up just enough so you can grab it with your fingernail and then with the fingernail just pull it upward and outward and you hear snapping sounds. That means the bezel is coming off and then this way work your way around the screen and keep moving. And the same thing on the bottom until the bezel comes off and we put the bezel to the side. Okay, next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. Uh, is If we take a look, it is held in by four screws with metal mounting tabs on the sides. There's two on top and two on bottom. And once again, we use our screwdriver to do this. And we remove the screws one by one. And when we're doing this, we tilt the screen backward a little bit so the screen doesn't fall forward on you when you remove all the screws. And we have a separate pile for these screws. Now there's going to be a screw in the middle, but we don't need to remove that one because that's not securing the screen. And we remove the fourth one and put the screw to the side. Next, we carefully grab the screen 
on the sides and gently lay it down. When we do this, we want to make sure we don't touch the power button so we don't turn on the computer. And to make our job easier, the video cable, it's secured by some plastic latches, so we just basically free up the video cable so we can manipulate the screen a little bit better. And next is what we want to do is to remove this cable from the screen assembly, remove this connector from the screen assembly, and it's secured by plastic tape. So what we want to do is lift up this adhesive tape using the tweezers and also your fingertips. And that tape is attached to a bar. We lift up this bar and once we do that we can safely remove the connector. We slide this connector back and it comes out. I'm going to reattach it to show you how to reconnect the connector. When you slide it in, you feel but not hear two clicks. And then we put that bar down so it comes over the entire connector assembly. Okay, let's get a close up. Pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. Okay, and once again, we remove this connector. <clears throat> So let's take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch touch screen. It's different than the standard 11.6 inch screen that goes inside most Chromebox, Chromebooks that it has the touch layer integrated with the screen itself. So the part number that you're looking for is N116WHM-A20. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen in stock and um, what you get with us when you order from us is this screen and also the exact same toolkit that I've been using in the video. It comes for free with the screen. We also provide free email technical support and a two-year warranty on the screen against defects. Uh, finally, we have free shipping within the United States and if you live outside the United States, we can send to most countries around the world. Just go through the standard checkout procedure and select your country. To order from us from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out to find the right screen model number and then you can follow the checkout. Okay, also we do a lot of work with school districts in the United States and around the world. So uh, if you work with a school district, we can provide bulk quantities of these screens at a discount and we can work closely with you with purchase orders and additional items that the school might need. Um, to contact us for school districts, uh, go to the, our website www.screensurgeons.com there will be a link at the top that says school districts and then there will be contact information there so we can work it out. Okay, once you do receive the screen, make sure it is a touch screen. It looks exactly like this. It's a little bit thicker than the standard 11.6 inch screen, so make sure you have the right one. It looks like this. And then reconnect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, then snap on the screen bezel and put the two screws in at the top and the screw covers. And then that's it, and then you're done. Okay, uh, thank you very much and good luck, and I hope it will turn out okay. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich, I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.